I love that you can actually see the small evidence left that I had to buy cookies. Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. My hair, once again, is out of control. Today, guys, we're gonna have some fun because as I promised last week, we're doing these puppies. Yay! I mean, <laughs> I cheated on you guys <laughs> and I already painted the ears. But today we're going to paint these bastards, which are the cups. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to paint these cups for a long time, but I, I saved myself for you. So today we're going to paint these ones and hopefully, maybe, I don't know if we'll have enough time, but maybe paint this the first coat of glaze, which is my favorite part. Uh, and yeah, um, hopefully we can tackle tackle this bastard today and hopefully this week I can start working on a few projects and I just wanted to share with you guys this quote that I came across the other day this is my mojo for this week anyway I just wanted to share that with you because it's also my mojo in life I feel like when I want to complain about stuff I always try to make it funny or complain on an illustration way like to make an illustration about it or just like make it it's not that make a joke about it but just like laugh about something that i want to complain about <laughs> this is the cue to um that i should go and paint so let's paint Hi guys, good morning, happy... F I was going to say Friday, no, it's Monday. <laughs> How are you guys? As you could see, it's a very slippery, slippery slope. It's a very slippery Monday. Um, right now I need to, well, dry my socks because I got really, really wet. And I'm just going to take an hour to answer some emails, catch up with messages and comments and stuff like that. And then I would love to do an illustration for Instagram because I haven't um, uploaded anything in a couple of weeks. <laughs> and later on today, I would love to try something out with you. So wait just a second so I can do the most urgent thing and then we can do something fun together. Okay guys, I am done with the emails, finally. I wanted to show you this, look. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so the other day I ordered these babies. Sweet sticker babies. I ordered this design again. 
which if you have ordered stuff on my shop, you probably recognize this design. These are transparent stickers and I love the quality so much. God, this street is so noisy. So I ordered the pink one. God, I'm so sorry guys. I'm the worst at focusing stuff. I ordered the pink one and I also ordered the yellow one, which I am sure you are also very familiar with. And I wanted to show you the new design, which was the design that we both wore together. This is it. Look, you guys, it's so cute. <laughs> These are transparent stickers. They're very sassy. Look, this is so cool. There are a few that I um, repeated from the last design, like potato, because I think that potatoes need a sticker. They deserve a sticker. But I also added new ones. I don't know if you can recognize the new ones. Those are so cute. Anyway, and I added that hot dog person because sometimes I feel like that. Like a gigantic hot dog. And the other sticker that I made was this one. This is the classic design. And I changed a little bit. I changed some of the designs a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I added more cupcake people and plants because you guys were requesting plants like crazy. I don't blame you, I love plants. And I also kept the human fajita and human taco sticker. And I added some computers and coffee and cups. And yeah, I love how they turn out. I haven't tested them, test them yet, which I will probably have to do today. But before that, I'm having coffee. I need to start doing the illustration. And I also wanted to show you an update of our pins. So you guys, God, I am very dummy. So when I added the pins, the famous, the infamous pins that I was talking to you about, the safety pins, I noticed that I didn't leave much space for the needle to go all the way out. And I had to remove, guys, all the safety pin out of the dry clay, the already baked clay, and it was a pain in the ass to take out. I felt so stupid when I did this because I didn't consider this movement. So all of this part was inside the clay. Anyway, this proved my case that you don't need glue to put the safety pin in the clay because it was a pain in the ass to remove. <laughs> so probably it's not going to break or anything. And now I had to add glue, obviously, but it's very secure. You can't take it. It's, there's no way you can remove this pin now, the safety pin. Now I'm finally done with this set of pens. I am so happy. Of course, I need to do more in the upcoming weeks before the illustration festival, but it's so nice that at least these ones are ready to go. I love how they turn out. I will probably do more dogs and another design just to like spice things up. But yeah, now I will start, I will stop procrastinate because I really need to do this illustration and I'll get back to you as soon as that's over. Hi guys, I am so ready for you now. Okay. <clears throat> I finished the illustration for Instagram. I had lunch. I'm gonna make some coffee in a couple of minutes. So today guys, I wanted to show you something that I just realized I didn't prepare. Wait a second. God, why, why am I like this? Okay. <laughs> So the other day I went to Plix, which is a huge art supply sh uh, shop chain that was a mouthful for some reason for me um, here in the US. And I bought all of these pencils, gorgeous pencils, because as you guys probably know already, I recently started working on my upcoming upcoming sounds so serious my upcoming graphic novel and uh, the reason why I bought so many pencils is because I am still trying to figure out which one is the perfect pencil to outline all of my drawings so today guys we're going to try all of these pencils that I bought um, I think I have a few sketches that we can use as an exercise here in my sketchbook so we're going to outline I mean I am, you're not going to, I wish you could, but I am going to outline this illustration right now. And I'm going to share my 
thoughts and results afterwards. So here we go. one I tried was this one, the gold favor, and uh, do, 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 it doesn't say, but it's a very electric, nice blue. And even though I enjoy the texture and the color a lot, um, the, the pencil doesn't have any grip. So it's very slippery. It, the, the pencil it has a very nice texture to the touch, but the problem is that while you're painting or drawing or whatever the thing you're doing with the pencil, um, I noticed that it's very hard to hold it for a long period of time because it will start slippering like crazy. So even though I do enjoy the texture and the color and how dark it is, I didn't enjoy that as well. So guys, what do I need in a pencil right now? I need a pencil that it is as dark as possible. Um, I, I would really love if the pencil I would love if the pencil is dark blue or electric blue because that's the color that I want to outline the entire graphic novel with. But I know that when you, you can't convey a very dark and soft color with a hard, fine tip. So this is like the two things that you can't have in one pencil at the same time. You, ha you can't have a very dark color pay off because usually dark colors tend to be softer, which means that the nib tends to fluctuate between, between really sharp and thin till very short and um, round, I guess. My goal will be, I should have said this earlier <laughs> because it would have made so much sense in this video. My goal is going to be to find a pencil that is really dark and the texture of the nib is hard as hell. It's a very nice thing to say on YouTube, hard as hell. Um, and I think I found one, but I wanted to share the results first. So this one, even though it was a really nice texture and everything, it's not as hard as I want it to be. <laughs> so that's, that's the thing. The second one I tried was a gift from my friend Akiko. I have no idea if she got this in Japan or not. So maybe it's even like really hard to get here in the US. I have no idea, but thank God, even though it's a really, gorgeous blue is not the one that I'm looking for because it's really... Is the word pasty the one that I'm looking for? The, the nib is very soft, so you actually start losing very fine details almost immediately. The color, as you can see, is very dark and intense, just the one, the one I like, but it's too soft for my taste and it's too soft for very fine details. So I don't know if you can see, but the face, all of the features are very, very fine line, but the rest of it started getting uh, wider and wider with time. And this is the thing that I'm trying to avoid with the graphic novel, like very thick and weird lines. I know I'm probably going to get very strange lines every once in a while if I'm doing the graphic novel with pencils, because this is the beauty of pencils, that you get a mixture of very fine and very wide um, lines. And that is the beauty of why I'm, I'm choosing color pencils to do this whole thing. But when it's getting out of hand and when you have to sharpen the pencil every once in a while, I don't want that. So this is what I'm aiming for. Um, the other pencil that I tried today was this one. It's the Prismacolor Very Thin Blue Marine. I realized that I also have this pencil in this color, very nice, Parma Violet. And I also have one in uh, crimson red, which is my favorite. I use this pencil all the time with my sketchbook and it's the perfect pencil for outlining illustrations, by the way. And I really enjoyed how thin this bastard is. I don't know if you can see, guys, but even though the color is not as dark and intense as I would have loved, the line is very, very thin, and I think this is one of my favorites. I think that once I start um, scanning all of the pages, I will have to make sure that this goes way darker than the actual color. I'm gonna make sure to do that either today or tomorrow, just to like figure out if this is actually possible, but I really enjoy 
the payout of this color. Last one I tried was this one. I think also, it's from, yeah, it's from Prismacolor as well. And this is the also very thin. I just realized I tried two very thin and they're absolutely the same. This is very strange because this is blue marine as well. I don't know if you can see. And this is also the blue marine. So I guess they did two very things in one. But the result is so different, guys. I don't know if you can see, but this is like a very greenish blue. And this is a very like violet blue. And the color as well of this one is way lighter than this one. I was going to say, I, w I didn't like the result of this one. Mm, I'm gonna, but they're exactly the same. Like supposedly they're the same brand and exactly the same color, but they're not. Anyway, hi guys, good morning. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. I was just editing this week's video and I over filmed this week because I got really paranoid that I haven't enough footage and I did, you guys, a whole special on my sketchbook and my colored pencils. I don't know if you can see, but they're out. I wanted to share with you my favorite brands and my favorite colors, but I just realized if I do that, it will be like a 30 minute video and it's already super long. <laughs> So I'm going to keep all of that footage for next week. Anyway, thank you so much guys for your support and for her My shop is officially closed. I was going to say that. And I just wanted to take the time and uh, just like say thanks. Thank you so much guys for your support and for helping me out, getting rid of all the stock before moving. Right now we're moving uh, my shop and I'm really nervous, but um, here's to new beginnings. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for um, supporting my work um, on my shop, on Patreon. Thank you so much, patrons. And for your lovely comments on each and every single video and for watching and for being subscribed and everything. And yeah, I really appreciate this so much. Thank you for keeping me company today and uh, we'll see each other next week, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> have a nice week, you guys. Bye, 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 bye.